Good morning, traders and investors. Roger Scott here. Lots to talk about today. It's about 7.45 in the morning. The market's going to gear up in about uh, an hour and 45 minutes to be specific with you. It's Friday. It's August 18th, and we're down. Oh, we're down. The Nasdaq is down pretty good, and the Dow is down just a hair, a little bit more above random. Now, before we get into all the juicy details and the good stuff, like our channel, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to my Telegram channel, go to rogerscott.com forward slash Telegram. Free trades, duh. I mean, we're just get, getting geared up over there. Don't miss out, rogerscott.com forward slash Telegram. Most importantly, my VIP room. I've opened it up for the summer for free. And today I'm gonna give you those five options for the tickers that I gave yesterday in the webinar. Don't miss out. The link is either above or below this video. I'm sure you'll find it. Now let's get into it. Oh, and comment below this video. I'll respond over the weekend. I actually check for comments every weekend. All right, now let's get into the juicy stuff. So as you can see here, the NASDAQ is down and uh, the Dow's down. Most indices are down. And I hate to say I told you so, but boy, oh boy, I've been talking about this for a couple of weeks, drawing trend lines and so forth. Volatility is starting to break out. This is the highest volatility level we've had since, let's see here. January, February, March, April, May, since May. We're already in the end of summer. So we're starting to circle back here and we may go up to about 22, maybe even the 26 level if this uh, route continues. A lot, of, a lot of fear about Chinese economy and the Fed. That's really what the two biggest factors right now. How bad is China going to impact global economy? And the fact that the Fed is not done raising rates. Now, the fact that the Fed is not done raising rates shouldn't be a surprise for anyone. We've been talking about it nonstop. They're taking a pause. We're still in an inflated environment. That means inflation is still here. It's sticky. It's not going anywhere. Now, where have the, uh, the uh, algos been hitting this week? Well, they've been very busy. They've been hitting the real estate sector really hard. I mean, really hard. Now, the majority of this is in commercial real estate REITs and in anything commercial. Residential has been doing pretty good, especially home builders. But commercial has not. And obviously, the weight of commercial real estate is infinitely bigger than, real estate, than, than residential real estate in terms of market capitalization, as you can imagine. So it looks like we've got more downside to go, but algos have been hitting the real estate sector super hard and uh, we're a little over oversold right now, but I think there's still a little bit more before we finish this route. Where else have the algos been hitting us hard? The bond market. I drew these lines for you guys a long time ago and now we're below. I don't know if we're going to get down here. This reaction is pretty solidified right here. Um, it's, it's pretty significant. Let's see here. You could see here, this looks like a bottoming pattern. And it looks like we've bottomed around this period before. So it looks like we may hold this level. Now, if we don't hold this level, the odds of us going to the 90 level are about 99.9%. .9%. But we may hold this level at least for the time being. So let's keep an eye on the uh, 20 year plus or long term rates. They have been going down, which means interest rates is going up. And if interest rate goes up, it puts a lot of pressure on technology stocks and the broader market. Where else, who else have been taking it under the chin? The small caps. The algos have been going crazy with the small caps. Look at these bars. They're actually accelerating and we're not at the bottom yet. We still have some more to go. There's still a little more downside to go. So I don't think we're finished. I think we're getting closer to, to, to finishing up, but we're not. So Russell 2000, the, the small mid caps, if you will, the bond market and the real estate market. And also, also another sector that's been taking it un, under the chin uh, has been the utility sector. Now, the question is, are we going to continue going lower? Or are we going to stay here for a while? What's going to happen? Well, here's the problem. Volatility is still going up. The, the stock market has not assimilated this route completely in the bond market, which means, let me show you what it means. This is the semiconductor sector. It hasn't come to this line yet. Matter of fact, if you look at NVIDIA, oops, let me just show you which is going down, look at how much more downside it has. And yes, I believe it's peaked out for the time being. I think NVIDIA is going to come right down here, break down, and fill this gap. I'm pretty confident on that. I've only been saying that since uh, May. So, uh, I mean, it, it did break above, but look at what happened afterwards. It came right back in the channel, and I think it's going to, there's really no market, and this has a lot of market cap. This is one of the seven big stocks, or six big stocks, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, not happy about that. How about the Dow Jones? Well, the Dow just broke back into our channel. 
And notice right here, it couldn't break this high. That's when I drew this line right here. It looks like we're coming right back down. And if that's the case, well, here's the problem, folks. I mean, we got a little bit of a little bit of support around the 30, 33,600 area, but most of the support is near the 32,500 level, which means we can go further down. And the fact that we didn't rally here or try to defend this high is not a very good sign. And volume hasn't been all that great, and we're still in summer. So, and the small caps, we're still not there either. So from where I'm sitting, and also take a look at Kathy uh, Woods. I warned you about this. I said she's going to go back down. Everybody thought we were gonna break out and we we're gonna come back up and look at what happened, nothing. So we weren't ready for prime time just yet and we're not ready for prime time yet just now. Um, and if you look at the QQQ, should have started with the QQQ, it's not looking very pretty. Look at it on a just broke through that level, just like the Dow did. See that? Which means we're going to come down all the way here, which means uh, XLK, let me just show you everything. And I drew, the, we're b below that level and the next level's not up to here. Folks, this market is not, uh, is not very strong right now. It's not very strong at all. Uh, it's actually increasing its momentum level to the downside. And the fact that it didn't react, see, here's the problem. When the bond market started going down, when this bond market started going down all the way up to here, we were still, investors were still hopeful that the stock market was gonna recover and it was still making swing highs. The stock market, listen carefully, listen closely. You're not gonna get this from CNBC. The stock market started really listening to the bond market around this break. So to me, to me, the stock market is still lagging behind the bond market. And if that's the case, We've got a lot to go. More importantly, we don't really have any earnings to prop anything. The Fed song and dance is very consistent now. We're gonna be in a wait and see, but we're not done yet. The majority said yesterday, more rate hikes because we're not at our 2% target and we can't get there with the current level of growth. So the bond market, uh, the Dow is breaking down. We're already down 167 points. We don't really have anything for about uh, 2,000, I mean, 1,500 points. That's huge, that's huge. So be really, really cautious. I'd love to tell you something positive right now, but I'm not seeing it. And and by the way, by the way, everything that I'm telling you right now, I told you about it right here uh, on, on the Russell. If you don't believe me, just go to my videos. I drew these things a long time ago and I'm not trying to pet myself in the back. And my point is I gave you a heads up that we we're making swing highs all the way around here. So all of this, all of this that you're seeing right now, you should have had plenty of warning about. I drew these lines a long time ago on the QQQ, on the, I drew it on the X, on the, um, here on the XLY a while ago as well. The point is all of these are breaking down right now and there's not a lot of support. There's not a lot of support. Maybe short term, we're gonna get a bounce because we're a little oversold, but I think it's just gonna come up right here and then we're gonna come right back down. So I'm just not seeing it. Let's talk a little bit about global economy. Three major benchmark indices closed red on Thursday as market participants digested another round of resilience. Um, uh, heightened concerns about possibility of interest rates remaining higher for longer while worries about China also weighted on sentiment. That's really the, the key right there. Benchmark, S&P, seven week low. Blue chips, one month low. NASDAQ, one and a half month low. That's a six week low. The bottom line is things are not doing well. Energy rose, that's positive. Healthcare and energy seem to be uh, resilient. Now, there's still an 89% chance, 88.5% chance that the Fed is going to not take action. But, but, um, there's now a 33% chance that they are going to take an action in November, which is now going to be the, the forward looking catalyst. Deer Company, Palo Alto, and uh, Estee Lauder are coming out with earnings. Europe is still um, worries about sustained elevated interest rates, diminished prospects of China, weak UK retail sales. They're not doing all that great. China closed lower as investor sentiment continued to be subdued to the absence of concrete stimulus. Housing crisis is broadening its impact. Japan closed lower a bit apprehension about China and surrounding global yield. It's a big problem. We may see some retail upside. Ross came out with good numbers. Applied material came out with good numbers. Uh, so these are some, some, some pretty good numbers that we need to pay attention to. Now, 
let me give you some day trading stocks. I know you guys love my day trading stocks, so I'll give you those right now. Um, here we go. Oh, there we go. Got a couple of good ones here. All right, the first one, the first one is CRKN, Crown Electronics. And uh, here you could see the stock is up 25%. It's, uh, here. it's up 25% overnight. And if you look at it on a longer term view, you will see that it's just humping above here. So I'm not seeing a big breakout. So honestly, I think it's going to come back down. I would be shorting the stock and thinking it's going to come down to the base. That's my five cents there. Now, um, to the downside, to the downside, we've got FTCH. Now look at this stock. It's a little overdone. I'm looking for it to take an upside position. I'm looking to buy above the high, the swing high. I think the stock can go to about three and a half, four dollars today. But uh, those are the two stocks that I'm really focused on right now. C, C K R N. Oops, wrong ticker symbol. C R K N to the upside, or it's it's a it's a breakout to the upside. I want to fade it to the downside. And to the downside, we've got FTCH. All right. Those are the only ones, and I think this will, will it's a little overdone right now. It's down 41% pre-open. It's a little bit overdone. Now, folks, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure to subscribe to our Telegram channel. I'm going to be starting to give free trades over there on these day trading stocks sometimes. You guys don't want to miss out. Now, Folks, big, big, big news. If you follow these morning videos regularly, and I know you do, then you know that I've been warning of a downturn in tech stocks for a while now. After a heck of a year for high flyers like NVIDIA and Meta, and as the AI craze begins to fizzle out, the tech rally is over. I've been telling you this for a while. Hedge funds, uh, the smart money, are now moving into so-called safe haven stocks, uh, energy, healthcare, and uh, they're moving at the fastest pace in decades. Are your investments safe? Right? Good question. Don't wait until it's too late to find out. Click on the link below, access my free presentation, and get all the goodies. And I'll see you at 11 a.m. in my VIP room. It's Friday, so we're doing it at 11 a.m. And I'll disclose the tickers from yesterday's webinar for free. Five tickers for my seasonality trades. Don't miss out. Bye. Have a great weekend. Send me some comments. Don't send me emails. Comment below the videos. I will respond so that everybody could see the goodies. Bye.